A lot of people say they would one day love to move to a farm and live a simpler life, but not many follow through. Pop star and rapper Khalees, who's toured all over the world and collabed with some of hip hop's biggest artists, is someone who actually made that dream happen. Throughout the pandemic, Khalees decided to trade in her gorgeous estate in Glendale, California she lived at for many years for a beautiful farm almost 100 miles away in Temecula, California. Today, we're gonna check out her properties. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. American singer-songwriter Khalees is probably best known for having the type of badunka dunk brings all the boys to the yard, as she so famously detailed in her 2003 breakout song, Milkshake. Hold on, I'm not sure how that clip got in here, but that sure wasn't Khalees. This is Khalees. Since that moment in time, Khalees has gone on to sell over 6 million records worldwide and be nominated for two Grammy Awards, earning herself an estimated net worth in the $4 million range in the process. But over the past few years, Khalees has seen a shift not only in her occupation. Instead of concentrating so much on her music, she's begun to spend more and more time on her culinary aspirations, writing a cookbook called My Life on a Plate in 2015, and appearing on the series Cooked with Cannabis on Netflix just last year. This development in her work life would ultimately result in a change in her personal life as well, inspiring her to move on from her spectacular home located in Glendale, California, where she had lived for nearly two decades, and relocate to a choice piece of farmland tucked away about 93 miles down the road in Temecula, California. Since moving there, Khalees has begun to experience a totally new way of life, and now she couldn't possibly imagine living any other way. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment, today looking at a couple of Khalees' homes. Don't forget to like, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and follow me on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Way back when in 2012, Khalees had just dropped the Scream produced single Distance when she decided to pick herself up this stunning 3,850 square foot property for the relatively low price of just $875,000. Now I know that might sound like a lot of money, but for a house this nice located in the state of California, trust me when I say it isn't. What originally sold Khalees on the property was the home's history. First built back in the 1920s, this house is warm, cozy, and gorgeous. Simply put, they just don't make them like they used to. When speaking about her decision to buy this home with Architectural Digest, Khalees told them, The architecture inside the house was amazing and it had a very dramatic old Hollywood feel. The backyard was so glamorous and really, for me that felt great. It was so nice for entertaining and I pictured all the things I could do back there. After moving into the home, Khalees worked tirelessly to restore the property to its former state of greatness. For example, she added decorative arches on the third floor and also restained the wood features throughout the house to match. At the same time, Khalees also modernized the place as well, especially when it came to the kitchens. That's right, I said kitchens as in plural. Khalees had two kitchens, one inside and one outside. The outdoor kitchen had been enhanced with some gorgeous Italian marble and an old wheel that Khalees sourced from the Rose Bowl flea market in Pasadena, California that has been hung from the ceiling to function as a pot rack. Meanwhile, the outside kitchen features a gigantic smoker so that Khalees can experiment with her variety of different feast sauce lines. Exploring the backyard further, there's a loggia that's lit up by a pair of wrought iron chandeliers, which also complements the rest of the multi-level backyard down below. There's also expansive terraces and a 12-foot deep saltwater swimming pool alongside a guest house with polished concrete floors, a full bathroom, and a river rock clad wall. Exclusively created for Khalees by the fashion designer Roberto Cavalli, it features a bold colored flamingo print that first appeared in her music video, Jerk Rips. From the front of the home, you can step into a glamorous living room outfitted with high barrel vaulted ceilings and an original Batchelder tile fireplace. 
The nearby dining room is just as grand, featuring a bay window that ties the room together with the indoor kitchen, including its luxe black and white checkerboard marble floors. The rest of the main floor living spaces include a small office with a backyard view and a moody looking media lounge with a chandelier crafted from trumpets. Upstairs, there are two good sized guest or family bedrooms, including the master bedroom, which comes complete with a white tiled Kiva style fireplace. Her ensuite also has a giant walk in closet, as well as a bathroom decked out with the holiest of holy grails heated tile flooring. And that gold accented bathtub that she imported from Indonesia, also a stunning perk. Even the attic space at the very top of the house is finished and is the perfect spot for some self reflective yoga. But all of these attractive features no doubt begs the question, why did Khalees want to move in the first place? Well, according to what she told Architectural Digest, it really came down to wanting to create a self-sustaining environment for her family. She told them, and Now that I've got two boys, I want to control a little bit more how we eat. We're buying a farm, so that's why we're moving. So that we can grow everything and sustain everything that way. So in 2017, Khalees listed this marvelous home for a little over $2 million. Somewhat amazingly, it would take over a year to find a buyer and even then, Khalees would have to knock about 500 k off of her asking price, ultimately selling her former home for $1.7 million. It's not all that uncommon for the average person to say something like, maybe I'll just move to the country and live off the land. It's just that usually no one ever does, but Khalees, well, she made it happen. After moving out of her home in Glendale, California, Khalees packed up her family and brought them to their brand new farm that she dubbed Bounty Farms. Tucked away in the flats of Temecula, California, Khalees is now wholly focused on growing her own produce like arugula and raising her own livestock. In fact, Khalees has been caring for more than 30 animals and she even names them after famous performers like Marvin Gaye, Whitney Houston, and even Bob Marley. Admittedly, that detail loses some of it's charm when you realize that she's raising some of these animals to be food. But hey, no one ever said farm life would be easy. Despite that, Khalees has managed to find her way over the past few years thanks to her combination of research, intuition, and tenacity. For instance, early one morning a couple of years ago, her 11 year old son Knight walked into the kitchen and told her that he saw a foot hanging out of a sheep's butt. Until that moment, Khalees had never even realized that any of their sheep were pregnant. She immediately called up her sister who just so happens to be a vet. Her sister recommended she get some gloves and assist with the delivery. But since Khalees didn't have any gloves on hand, she simply created some makeshift ones out of a garbage bag. Then she headed out to her barn. Just like that, Khalees taught herself how to help deliver a baby sheep. Not long after, another sheep went into labor with twins. This time, Khalees was ready and had the proper equipment good to go. She told Harper's Bazaar, You become farm people quickly. None of my friends would have pegged me as a farm person, but I'm as farm as it gets at this point. So yes, the farm life was jarring at first for Khalees, but now she wouldn't have it any other way. She continued to Harper's, it ended up being a blessing. I was able to be home and learn this land. The experience has become a second coming of age. Slowly but surely, Khalees' farm selection has continued to expand as well and now includes a bountiful harvest like kale, broccoli, herbs, carrots, tomatoes, strawberries, blueberries, eggplant, lettuce, and different types of peppers. The only problem, she's got to battle with a bunch of gophers who want to eat everything she grows. She's also got her very own olive grove. Couple that with her livestock and if Khalees ever chose to sell her products directly to her fans, Bounty Farms could become a one-stop shop for everyone's culinary needs. But for now, Khalees is content that what she's managed to build will sustain her family for years to come. All right, after looking at rapper and I guess now farmer Khalees' homes, that'll bring this latest house tour to a close. We saw her two very different properties, including her longtime Glendale estate and her new farm lifestyle, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. What do you guys think about Khalees' switch to the California farm life? Or what did you like about her former abode? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give me a follow over on Instagram and tell me which celebrity homes we should take a look at next. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.